first, like the point that you're making about point system. Point system is ruining martial art today. Not just BJJ, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but all the martial arts. Point system is ruin, ruining that. It's like you don't punch to score a point. I score a point. No, you punch to knock the person out. But people are so into the, okay, we gotta go to competition to go. So they are learning, they're starting to learn the opposite now. How to score a point instead of knocking the person out. To score a point. Excellent. Self defense, man, most fight, it doesn't start like you see on TV. Are you ready? Are you ready? No, it's gonna be starting because somebody bent, bumped shoulder into you. It's like, wait, what are you looking at, man? And put their hands on you, he's gonna grab you. So, not just for a female, but for the man too. They think, wow, I wanna train <coughs> MMA. What is MMA? Like they say in America, uh, Jack of all trades, master of none. <laughs> you don't go make a, 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 a Xerox. You make a copy. Not a Xerox. Xerox is the name of the machine. But people say, oh, I'm going to make a copy. I'm going to go drink Starbucks. No, you're not going to drink Starbucks. You're going to go drink coffee. I'm going to go. I want to learn MMA. You don't learn MMA. You got to learn a style. So it doesn't matter which style. You got to learn a style of self defense. So, and that will get you ready for the streets. Like an like like example I always give, it's like Lyoto Machida. He comes from a karate background. Yes. But if he learned Jiu Jitsu on the side, he fights on an MMA show. Vanderlei Silva comes from a Muay Thai kickboxing background. But he will choke you out if he have a chance. So, it's like Nogueira comes from a Jiu Jitsu background all his life. Stand up in front of him, he'll knock you out, knock your heads off your shoulder. He's a good boss, he learned that on the side, so it's a compliment, so it's mixing of two styles that becomes an MMA. But people, don't, they don't learn everything together. No, you learn one style that I call home. You become good at one. Then you learn the other as a compliment. First thing to win the fight, you gotta know what you're doing. Then becomes endurance. If you don't know what you're doing, you have no business in there like any sport or anything. You, have, you don't know how to play soccer. You have no business on the field. You don't know how to play basketball, hockey. If you don't know how to play hockey, man, sorry, you have no business in there. You gotta know what you're doing. Second becomes endurance. You can get, have the fastest car in town. If you don't have gasoline gas inside, you're not going anywhere. So you have to have gas, you have to have endurance. Then becomes power. Then becomes the horse. A lot of people switch. They don't. They forget the endurance part of the game. I think the the open mind that we all have is to always get in the mat. You know, put the white belt mindset and just learn. You know, we're sitting down each one of us with with students every day, and we're always learning from them too. You know, I think that. Uh, you know, this ability help us a lot to realize that not every move works for everybody. So really uh, uh, seeing people hurt and not be able to do something make us think and go different ways. How we can help you for your, pos for your body or, or wh whatever it, it is help, you know, hurting you, how we can help you to realize how you can really do that move or get out of that move or do something that you know, so we teach us really more than what we learn how, because some of us may be strong, some of us may be flexible more, some of us, and, and th those kind of, of, of situation that we are going around and teaching other people and learning from other people, I think that give us the, the, the open mind of, hey, every, every, first of all, everything we can do. Second is, we have ways of doing everything, you know, so we always learn something new. Course. How to deal with people, man, different cultures, different languages, different age groups, and love it. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing is, it's a very important, and you guys, everybody in the same page here, you know, every time you teach, we don't realize it, you know, the student, they can see if you like to be there. Mm -hmm. They don't tell nothing, you know, if you start to look at the clock, if you start to, I need to go, you know. But uh, at the end of the day, they're gonna be very happy what, you, what the energy you put over there and then, you know, you're happy, you know. If you guys don't happy to teach, better not gonna be there. Because the other side of the line, they're gonna feel, you know, for sure.
you know, I, and mostly from Euler, I learned, he always say, you know, every time he starts a class, it's, it's not his class, it's your class. You know, there's no bad questions. You're here to learn, you know, don't be afraid. And, uh, and again, I say, I see him teach all the time. He, he either make the student look really, really, really good, or he can make the student look really, really, really bad. And I say, I've never seen him make a person look bad. You make a little kid who's done no experience, throw him, mount, arm bar, you know, Hoist does the same thing, any great teacher, I think, and that's the most I take from the seminars. I think uh, it's, it's important for the, the student to see your natural passion. Uh, like they said, uh, students can tell when you're authentic and when it's genuine and when it's not. And uh, what these guys got this weekend is pure passion at its best, us loving what we do, and uh, basically having a mentality of each one teach one, where we just want to share and to see them share, and that, that's how this thing keeps going, and that's how martial arts constantly are, are progressive. If it wasn't for the Gracies, uh, North America wouldn't be what it is now because each one teach one, they share their secrets, and that's what it's about. That's what the evolution of keeping martial arts strong is all about. I trade with everybody, and I think that I take from each one something, and I think that every, everybody is, is awesome, and, and, and I, I couldn't think of me doing something else, especially when we go around and we're traveling, and, you can sit down and, 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 and work out with, with people, or you can, you know, not do that. If we, our passion is, our passion is, is martial art, and I think that we always can learn from somebody. And dealing with those people over here on this, you know, it can, it can be better. You know, just going and I can uh, always learn. I'm so excited about it, you know, I'm so humble sitting over here and really with those people that really make the martial art so popular and so important, you know. Amazing. For me, family, I'm, I'm growing. This is a, so a privilege, you know, is to be right to the sauce and, and everything. You know, I actually live in the last uh, 20 years very close with my father, you know, and then I learned a lot from him. And that's, I think, uh, he always tell good things, you know, and say, hey, we don't have a bad student, we have a bad teacher. Mm -hmm. And that's put us in a bad situation, you know, if you don't be good, you are bad. <laughs> You know, and then that's pretty much, you know, it's make sure you're happy the time you teach. They can feel that, you know, it's a lot of things he say, you know, it's make me feel much better. And um, we're talking about the family, you know, my family never put me pressure. I don't think not in me, not a horse, you know, not everyone. And that's what I try to teach my students, no pressure. If you like to compete, you compete. We support. If you don't like to compete, you don't need to compete. If you don't like to train, you don't train. But always is a, is a, well, the match is my background, my, 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 my backyard, you know, and front yard, <laughs> you know, is I have a match at home all day long, you know, sometimes we discuss time, oh, let's go to the mat, you know, but it's in a nice way, you know, um, and that's we try to move forward and, and show the, the world and show the, the, the students, you know, how comfortable every time you be in the match. You know, it's a gotta, sometimes I, I heard someone tell me, you know, say, you know, uh, that's the kind of stud they have. It's a percentage. For the first time, someone called the school to be in the school. Sometimes take between a month and four months. The guy's so scared because it, we're talking about the one never do no much art. He called. He said, "Maybe I'm gonna go tomorrow." The time he said, "I'm gonna go," he's taking sometimes four months to go there. And then that's we don't like to show the we we're good, you know. We are friends, we are family, we try to, you know, show good stuff, you know, be, you know, and that's a learning home. The website for, for us is teamrks.com and the graciehumaitai.com, um, hoistgracie.tv, uh, Hanshi Moti's got his own. The thing is, it's like I say, it's not about us, it's find a good place, you know, find a good place with good teachers that care. You know, they, they say a lot, you know, people don't care how much you know till they know how much you care. You know, find a place where the teacher wants to teach. You know, it's not a job to come to work every day. They don't complain because they got to come in here. You know, it's like you see in here the last couple of days, the, the parents are patient. You know, we got three rooms going, so a lot of things going on, but they trust that they're going to get good instruction no matter what, whether they're on the small floor today or the big floor. 
And uh, you know, I learned a long time ago to surround myself with with great people. You know, I was so fortunate to meet Hoyler in 1999, and then you know he introduced me to Hoist, and this week is my first time with Game McDavid Gilbert. Feels amazing. Yeah, Hanshi Multi and I have traveled many times together. I just think you know martial arts is you know like Hoyler said, if people want to do it and they find a great place to do it, that's what it's all about. You know, finding a safe environment.